So we've all been told, haven't we, the recipe to bombing driver is get that ball forward, get that little bit of spine tilt away. And I've even mentioned about just setting that club back a little bit. But far too often from there, even with a good strike, golf has hit that huge slice over to the right and it's gone nowhere and it's absolutely dead. And even though there's a lot of truth in a lot of stuff I've said there, there's one key ingredient that you need to change, otherwise you're just gonna hit that shot all day long. And if you can get this bit right, we're still gonna add a lot of what we've done into that setup. And again, with a good solid strike, we can see a huge pickup in carry, a huge pickup in total, and it's just a much better golf shot. So, I think the key for golfers hitting the ball a long way. Yes, I like the idea of getting the club to travel up, so the lowest point being behind the golf ball, but it's really important to understand that when you look down the line here, basically the circle the club moves in, the direction the circle moves, a lot of golfers think it's very, very straight, but the path the club travels on is actually about when we hit the golf ball. So if I were to make a very straight circle at the bottom, if the low point of the golf swing was under the ball, the path would be dead straight. And then as long as I've got that club face pointing in that direction, that's a nice straight one. But as we move everything back this way, but still keep everything very traditional with parallel and left, we can now see that face on the low point of my swing is back here but we can actually see by the time I get to the golf ball, the path is gonna be more out to win. And then if I leave that club face at the target, we're gonna get there. And we can see there, club head speed just under 99 mile an hour, low point 2.9 inches behind, so the club's traveled up 1.6 degrees. The swing direction was slightly left. The path was four degrees left the face was eight degrees open, which part of that is down to the strike as well. So golfers are very aware that they need to change path, but far too often, they're worried about trying to change something in their golf swing. Whereas the easiest way of changing the direction of the circle is if I aim straight or align straight and swing, you can see I'd be pretty straight through the bottom. If I lined up left, we can see the circle would be left, and if I lined up right, the circle would be right. So if we're gonna be hitting the ball on the way up, it's really important then that the club's coming more to the right, it meets straight as it's getting to the golf ball, and then it can curve left. So if you are somebody who's gonna try and hit up on the ball much more, it's really important that despite having that ball forward and having that little bit of tilt, that we close that stance off and we can see there, as we pull that club head back, the shoulders are probably even more closed than normal. And then from there, we can see a slightly more exaggerated shape, but we can see low point, 5.3 inches behind, clubs traveled up four degrees, swing direction 12 degrees to the right, path, because the club's moving up, it's still 8.8 .8 degrees to the right, and we can see that ball curve from right to left. And I'm not saying that's the perfect shot by any means, but it's not that horrible, weak, glancy blow. Now, obviously what I'm talking about there is as we move the direction of the circle, we're gonna improve the path. So then a lot of golfers will talk about, yes, but club face is also really important, which I agree with. Now, probably for most golfers though, because they hit down on the golf ball and the low points ahead, they're catching the ball early in the arc and then squaring it up later. So actually by setting up as we're doing, moving that club head back, probably a good foot, but feeling that it's just set back a few inches, we can see as the club's coming in, it's reaching its low point, then it's got longer to close. And if we can get that club face closed to the path 
and the path being more from the inside or to the right, we're definitely going to get rid of the horrible slice and we're going to start seeing, I'm going to say a draw rather than a hook, but we can see that was quite exaggerated. So I'm going to go from being very square to just closing that stance. So just aligning everything a little bit more to the right, setting that club back, which again is going to help those shoulders and a little bit on the inside. And it wasn't a great strike by any means, high toe, but low point behind, clubs traveled up, perfect delivery for a draw. And even though it's not a great strike, it's two, three, one carry and two, five, five total. Now, don't get me wrong. That's if you want to get rid of that slicey one. And if you want to feel that you're getting the club coming more from the inside to square the club face up. But you might be one of those golfers who says, right, as long as I understand what's going on there, I could align a little bit more left, get that set back and make the swing. And I can take the left side out of play. We see a great strike again, 102 mile an hour club speed, low point behind, club traveling up, swinging left with an open club face and 249 carrying 271 total. So it doesn't always mean like a lot of golfers say that the fade has to go shorter than the draw. The key is if we can maintain a good solid strike and deliver a fairly consistent amount of loft, we're only talking about the ball tilting. We're not talking about side spin, it's just like an aeroplane. So if you were hitting this way and the plane tilts that way, we're gonna see the fade. And if we go this way, it's the draw. Now, for me personally, I don't love seeing the drawy one. I like seeing that little cut but there is a time and a place when it's needed. And whereas in the past I've been able to set up very neutral to draw the ball, now I definitely feel that I need that little bit of help at address. I can set up there, put that swing on it and get that ball curving a little bit right to left. We see the numbers across the bottom all back up what I'd need and that one getting out 275. So remember, getting that club traveling up through impact is a really important thing. But if we're looking from down the line and as the club's traveling up, it's traveling more out to in. If we're leaving that club phase at target, we're always gonna miss that way. So that easy way is align the body all a little bit over to the right-hand side, set that club back a little bit, make that swing, and just really enjoy picking up 20, 30, maybe even 40 yards off the tee, but having the ability to work the ball either way, whenever you want.